everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla from Kayla's Cricut Creations, and I am so excited about today's video because I just purchased Cricut's newest machine, the Cricut Joy. I picked this up at Michael's, and I cannot wait to start using this machine. I just want to say thank you to Michael's for sponsoring this video. Before I get into my car tutorial, I want to introduce you to this new machine since this will be the first time I'm using it on my channel. The Cricut Joy is great for quick, everyday fun projects. The machine can easily make cards, decals, labels, banners, and more. I think what stands out the most when you first see it is its size. Even though it's small, it definitely has some big features. I love how compact this is because it makes it so convenient for you to craft anywhere and I really think that's my favorite part of the new machine. I want to show you a comparison with my iPhone. So if I just set that right on the machine, you can see how small it actually is. I feel like when you see it on the screen, it looks a little bigger, but this is actually a very small machine. Even though this is a small machine, it has some really neat new features. The Cricut Joy can cut up to 20 feet long. When Cricut first announced this product, that was the first thing that caught my attention and I was really excited about that. Another neat feature with this machine is you can easily personalize everyday simple projects. You can do this by cutting out decals using Cricut's new Smart Vinyl. This allows you to cut without a mat. So here is two uh, rolls of Smart Vinyl that I picked up. This is a black 20 feet roll, and then this one has a few different colors. You can also use your regular vinyl along with the new Cricut Joy mats. So I picked those up as well. Um, this one came with the Cricut machine, and here I picked up the blue light grip mat. I'm also gonna go back and pick up the green standard grip mat as well in this size. I also have the card mat, which I'll be using in this video. You can use your Cricut Joy to make labels using the Smart Label Writable Vinyl. I picked up some of that as well. With this machine, you can quickly write, then cut, then you can easily just peel and stick the label to your surface. So I picked up that from Michaels. Here is the Smart Label, and I am really excited to test this out. The last feature I want to talk about is the cards. This is what I'll be making in today's tutorial. The Cricut Joy machine has made it so much easier to make cards. I do not make cards very often, but this it makes it so convenient to just whip up a card for any occasion, even if it's last minute. So I purchased these uh, card inserts from Michaels as well. There's lots of different colors and I am so excited to make a card with this tutorial today. Okay. Now that we've talked about some of the new features of this machine, I will get into the tutorial. First, I want to start off by showing you what materials you will need for this project. So for this tutorial, I will be using the Cricut Joy machine. I will also be using the Cricut Joy insert cards. And I'll be using the Cricut Joy pen. And the last thing I will be using is the Cricut Joy card mat. First, I'll show you in Cricut Design Space how to get the template for the card. I am in Cricut Design Space. I am on my laptop. You can use your laptop or desktop computer. You can also use your phone or your tablet with the Cricut Joy. Before we get into the card template, I want to quickly come up here and show you Cricut has an option where you will choose what machine you're working with. I always like to do this before I start my project. If you go into the Make It screen and you have a different machine selected, you'll have to completely go out of that and come back into the canvas. So you'll just want to make sure you have the Cricut Joy selected. Then I'm going to go over to Projects. I'm going to go over to the search box, then I'll search for Cricut Joy Cards. Cricut Design Space has a lot of ready-to-make cards, which makes it very easy to just select one of these that you like and quickly make your card. You can also design your card as well, but today I'm just going to pick one of Cricut's. 
As you can see, there's a little green A on here. These are all under Cricut Access. So if you subscribe to Cricut Access, then these are all included with that. If you are not subscribed, these usually have a small fee. You can see there's a lot of cards to choose from for so many different occasions. There is a lot of cute ones on here. The one that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is the flowers and vase card. I thought this one was really pretty and this one will write and cut. You can see there's a description and it also tells what materials you need and the preparation. You can also see there's not a customize button. Usually you can go into Cricut Design Space to customize your card. I'm not sure why Cricut doesn't have that with these. They might eventually get that. So I will just click on make it. I'm in the make it screen. If you come over here, it automatically comes up with the on card mat, which is what we'll be using today. So we'll click on continue. You can see that the machine connected through Bluetooth. That is how the Cricut Joy is able to connect. So you'll want to make sure that you have your Bluetooth on for whatever device you are using. They also have popular settings set for the Cricut Joy that you will most likely be using. So I will not have to search for any of the material. It looks like it comes up with insert card cardstock. So I want to select that one. For this design, the Cricut Joy will be writing and cutting. So you'll want to take a look at this part of the screen. It'll tell you what it's going to start off with. So it looks like it says load your black pin in the clamp. Now I will just show you how I make this with the Cricut Joy. You'll notice the Cricut Joy has no buttons on the machine at all. You will just need to plug in the power cord in the back and the machine will automatically power on. Just flip down the front to open the door. The fine point blade comes with the machine and is already inside the clamp. Design space is going to start with the pen first, so I need to switch it out. First, open up the clamp and remove the blade. The Cricut Joy comes with the black fine point Cricut Joy pen. Take the cap off and just set it inside the slot. You do not need to push down on the pen like the other machines. Close the clamp and it's ready to write. I'm going to use both of these insert card sets. These make it even quicker to whip up a card with the Cricut Joy. The card insert sets contain 10 pre-scored cards, 10 coordinating insert pieces, and 10 envelopes. I'm going to use the pink pre-scored card, and I'm also going to use the gold insert piece for this card. Next, I grab my Cricut card mat. I already took off the clear plastic cover, so make sure to do that and keep that over your mat when it's not in use to help protect the adhesive. Cricut came up with an excellent idea with this card mat. You slide the pre-folded card with the back behind the extra layer and the front sticks to the top layer. This allows you to cut the front of the card without cutting the back of the card. Make sure the card is pressed against the edges of the mat. Insert your card into the machine. The rollers will automatically grab and straighten your mat. The Cricut Joy does not have any buttons on it, so you will do all of your clicking on your device. So you can see the third step says click go, so we'll click go. The machine will draw out the design first. Once the Cricut Joy is done drawing, remove your pen, then place your fine point blade back into the slot. After your pen is done drawing, your screen will prompt you to install your fine point blade. You will click on go. The Cricut will cut out the rest of the design. Once the Cricut Joy is done cutting, it will come up with this prompt that says complete. When you hit unload, it will unload the mat for you. I like to use my spatula tool to easily remove the card from the adhesive side of the card mat, and that works really well. Next, I use my scraper tool to scrape the cardstock off of the mat. This quickly and easily removes it. 
I grab my gold insert piece and place that in the slot and the card is done. I decided to make a few other cards as well. I am extremely happy with how these turned out. I love how pretty these look and I can't believe how fast I was able to put them together. After making a couple cards, I was able to make the rest of these in under five minutes. You can buy the Cricut Joy and these accessories at Michael's. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I would love to have you here and have a great day.